Hey, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I am filming this on the 13th of February, meaning that tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and whereas my last vlog was very pro all you singletons out there, you know, if you're happy, you're happy, um, this one is going to take a little bit of a different turn and celebrate, you know, being in love and being in a relationship, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's an old relationship, you know, it, it it doesn't matter if you are in a relationship and you are happy, that is the most important thing. And as some of you who follow my vlogs will be aware, I am at the start of a new relationship myself and I am very happy. And last week when I was, this is the, re this is the main reason I want to do this, is when I was watching back my vlog last week with all the very pro being single stuff, I realised I didn't make it clear enough that I am happy that I am in a relationship. <laughs> I was happy this last time last year when I was single. I am happy plus one this year that now that I am in a relationship. Um, you know, I, I'm very much one of those people. I think you should be happy with your circumstances no matter what they are. And I am very happy with my circumstances. The fact that I'm in a relationship is definitely a part of the reason that I am very happy at the moment, but it's not the whole reason that I am happy at the moment. But having said that, this is going to be all about celebrating relationships. So as I have mentioned sort of a few times, um, I still haven't met them in person yet. Um, we've got some plans for tomorrow where we are going to spend as much as tomorrow, as much as, um, as much as, as much of tomorrow as possible. Uh, we plan to be the chat. Uh, we're going to be marathon watching some anime. Uh, we are planning to have lunch together. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the day we'll actually manage to be in a video call, um, but the overall plan is as much of the day as possible we are going to be in the chat and I am very much looking forward to that. Um, that we've seen what each other looks like. Um, I've seen like short videos of them. They they watch my vlog. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> um, so we we have a very good um, idea of, of what the other person is like. We haven't actually done the whole video call thing yet. Um, I think in part because things were so up in the air about us meeting in person. Um, this would have been the weekend where we would have met in, in person for the first time if lockdown hadn't happened. Unfortunately, lockdown happened. So, um, sort of, you know, because of that and, and because of all those reasons, it, it very much, uh, we didn't sort of get to, to doing a video call before now. Um, so when we were talking about, uh, talking a couple of weeks back about what we could do for Valentine's Day, Instead of actually seeing each other, um, we came up with a suggestion and we were like, you know what, let's put off doing the, the video call thing for Valentine's and, and kind of make it, you know, that that first sort of proper call, first sort of proper, you know, getting to talk to each other. Let, let's try to make it as special as possible. Um, so, yeah, that's that's very much how things are and how things are going. Um so I just want to, <laughs> I'm hoping like from how I am and from how I'm, I'm reacting and, and like the huge smile on my face, it is clear that I am happy in my relationship. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so paranoid about how I came off um, as being in fact after I'd uh, finished editing it. I did, I did message the cute friend and, and I was like, uh, it, it, it sounds the way I don't intend it to sound. I'm sorry. Um, and I just reassured them that you know, it, it was just because I'm very, I'm not very pro being single. I'm pro being happy. Um, and, you know, society especially can be very um, into pressuring single people into not being single anymore. And speaking as somebody who is on their asexual spectrum and does know what that pressure feels like i feel like it is very important to reassure single people that if they are single and happy that's perfectly fine 
but I realized that you know I, I might have made it sound like I missed being single <laughs> that's not that's not true um I'm, I'm just saying that if I were still single I would be happy it's just that I'm in a relationship and that also makes me very happy so um, I'm hoping that that clarifies any uh, misunderstandings I might have caused from <laughs> my blog last week okay so now that I've sort of updated you guys about my own relationship uh, let's talk about some other relationships note where the relationships um, I guess where I want to go here again once again because of course is um, the never in verse <laughs> as I should now call it um, specifically the never rating collection obviously the third book is still not out um, I'm still waiting on a cover. I've not actually spoken to my cover guy properly uh, for a couple of weeks. He's had a lot of stuff on again. Like every time I do manage to catch him, uh, you know, there, there's a lot going on in his life at the moment. So I am starting to contemplate maybe uh, looking into other avenues for getting the, the cover done for uh, No Doors Allowed and for We Giants. But at the same time, it's like, oh, he's done like the first two books in the collection. It would be nice to at least round off the collection with his work and then you know optionally look for other things for um any of my other planned releases uh for the next couple of years but yeah it, it's it's a tough one to decide because he does do very very good work um he does he, he i mean anyone who's seen my covers you'll you'll know he, he does do really good work so i'm like kind of reluctant to um just sort of give up on on getting getting him completely and using him completely but at the same time I can't keep waiting months and months and months um for covers for books that are ready to go otherwise um because he's got you know life stuff going on I mean yeah I mean he is doing it for me for free which is one of the reasons why I try not to pressure him too much about it but you know at the same time uh, I would like to be getting more work out there um, at a more reasonable pace uh, because that's one of the ways that, you know, we indie authors make a living for ourselves. It's basically we swarm the market and then hopefully something sticks. <laughs> so, bringing it back to the Never verse, which is where I, I sort of started doing that. Obviously, the Never verse is filled with some of my favourite favorite of all time couples um and to be honest it wouldn't have become the never eaten verse if those couples didn't exist um so as i've mentioned before the whole reason uh the colors i see was written was because i noticed this underlying storyline going on in the background of hyena boy which i hadn't i so had not originally intended for that to our plot thread and that, that storyline to kind of be there. Um, certainly when I sort of initially wrote the, the, the book, you know, I, I intended them to just be like, you know, four friends, um, four straight friends. <laughs> um, and then there was just something like the, I think the first sort of time I, I went through and edited it in, in the editing that I did a couple of years ago before uh, releasing Hyena Boy, I was just like, are, are those, are those, what, what am I intending with these two characters? Um, are they together? Am I, am I shipping them? And it, it actually surprised me when I got to the epilogue that, that first time and I realised that no, I hadn't been shipping them. Um, and I started to question why I wasn't shipping them because they make a lot of sense and uh, they are now my favourite couple that I have created of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of clauses onto that. Um, which is of course uh Zelda Zendel and Orion um yeah, Orion Aries. Um and they are they, they are two amazing characters to, to write and you know part of the reason that the Never Rating Collection does have its own spin-off is you know, because these characters are, you know, amongst my favourite characters. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, the other two friends aren't great. I I love Jay. I love Sly. 
um, you know, in, in the, the spin-off collections, you do get a lot of, of both of them in there as well. Um, but at the same time, Zell and Rai, they are such a good couple. They are, like, the couple you want to aspire to be. Um, so, like, if I... And then the thing is, is that I would dedicate, you know, this Valentine's vlog to a couple like them, but they would not appreciate it. <laughs> like, in canon, in universe, um, they do not celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm not going to say why. There is a reason why. Uh, if you want to know the reason why, read the colours I see, and you 100% understand why they do not celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, they don't. Um, however, you know, if I would have a book to recommend uh, for people to, to read, sort of like as a romantic book to sort of read. No, I wouldn't even say it's sort of like a romantic book to sort of read for Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I mean, you can. There's, it's definitely got a really great love story going on within it. It is, uh, it's one of those stories that for a fan fiction of my own work <laughs> it is a really great um it does have a really great love story that does go does go through it and you do really sort of care about the relationship of those two boys but I wouldn't say it was primarily a love story um like even No Dolls Allowed which is its technical sequel um and I mean I know I say you can read the books in any order but in terms of timeline it's the technical sequel it's the technical it's the next part of their story um again I wouldn't necessarily say that you know it was 100% a romance um because there's so much else that kind of goes on um but they are definitely they are definitely a couple that, you know, everyone should, this, but I, I say that. Uh, there's probably a lot of, like, they are slightly codependent. <laughs> if there's one flaw, um, they are ever so slightly codependent, and it is pointed out by the characters that they are kind of codependent, and that's not necessarily the healthiest thing. Um, however, they're not, it's not like a, toxic codependency if that makes sense um they are very good for each other yes they are very dependent on each other but they also give each other a lot of strength they give each other a lot of support and encouragement um they are a very good team and they work really well together um so yeah yeah okay this this has been sort of my late valentine's <laughs> <laughs> very late valentine's rug um so i've given you a bit of an update in terms of my own relationship uh talk to you about my favorite couple that i have created it's always i think going to be Zell and ryan they are amazing characters as far as i'm concerned um you should definitely read the Neveration collection and completely agree with me on how amazing these characters are. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to be talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!